to our mini tutorial on how to backup and restore within Sage BusinessWorks. This tutorial will step you through how to create a backup and how to restore that backup if the need should arise. Sage BusinessWorks has a built-in backup and restore utility. The backup option is manually selected and assures you you are getting a good backup of just your BusinessWorks data. Using the BusinessWorks backup makes restoring your data easy and if you ever ha if you ever have an issue with your hard drive or your data becomes corrupt. So let's go ahead and take a look at a live demonstration on how to backup and restore. To access the BusinessWorks backup, we're going to select File and then we're going to select Backup. You will first see the database wizard with helpful hints on backing up. You're going to click Next to continue. And then here you will see a list of all companies available to back up. So you're going to select your live company data and then you're going to hit the next button to back up. Something to note is that the system backup is good to do as well as it contains your users registration information, and any custom forms you have created. So we're going to back up sample and we're going to hit next to continue. Here is where you're going to choose the location in which you're going to back up the file. Right now, as you see on the left, it's going to my documents and then it's automatically going to populate the backup file name. If you would like to change the location to another spot, you would just click the folder that you would like to back up to and then you notice that the backup file name goes away. I like to hit the back button and then go forward again to have it repopulate the file name or you can type in a customized backup file name. We're going to go ahead and hit next to continue and then here it's going to go through a summary of the information including which company you're backing up and where you're backing up to. So always make special note of that backup file name and location in case you need to restore it. We're going to go ahead and hit start to continue to, to backup the company. Once the backup is complete, you will get a note asking you if you'd like to backup another company. If you do, you would go ahead and say yes. Choose the other company that you want to back up then hit next to continue and it's going to default to the same location that the last backup was made and then you would go ahead and hit next to start the backup. Now let's take a look at how to restore the backup that you just made. To restore a backup we're going to go to file and restore. You're going to click next to the database restore wizard and then here is where you're going to choose the backup that you would like to restore. As with when we made the backup, we made it to the directory, Carol, and then we chose the sample company backup that we're about to restore. So on the left is where you choose the location and on the right is where you're going to choose the file. If you do come up and go to select the backup here on the left, you'll notice nothing populates on the right and then it will not restore either. You will get an error message that the specified file selection is invalid. So be sure you choose the folder above where the file resides and then select the file itself on the right hand side. Select the file, click next. Then it's going to give you some options here. One option is you can restore to a new company ID. This comes in handy if you're going to test data or if you want to see if the backup was a good backup. So if you wanted to restore it to a new ID, you would click a checkbox in the restore to new company ID and then you would type in the name of the new company. And then again, always make sure that you've got the right file selected and then go ahead and hit start and then this is going to complete the restore process. Again, you will get asked if you want to restore another database. In this case, we're going to go ahead and say no to that 
as we have now finished doing our backup and restore. Now that we know how to backup and restore, let's go over a few of the common issues you might run into when backing up. Most of the issues with backing up can re be resolved by disconnecting stranded users. Issues can include a user showing stranded or stuck in the program, getting a message like an error has occurred while performing the operation, unable to achieve an exclusive company lock, or another common error is an error has occurred in the Backup Restore archive followed by a native error 0003 on a specified file. To find the resolution for these, search the, our Support Knowledge Base site at support.na.sage.com and then in the search box just type the article number listed in the screenshot. Another common issue with backing up is that it may be slow or appears to lock up. This can happen if you're backing up to a network drive. If you allow the backup to wait, it will finish and then you can select a local location to back up to and the issue will be resolved in the future. I just want to thank you today for viewing our presentation on how to back up and restore within Sage BusinessWorks. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you.